All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Prox right here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond One Lock. So if you guys missed out during our last episode, we went and taking care of Commander Jupiter, and now, guys, for what we're going to be doing right now is that we are actually going to be going and heading on over to where the Wayward Cave is going to be. That is going to be our uh, little bit of our pit stop just before heading on over to Hard Home, just so I can see what other type of encounters that we can actually go and grab and uh, see what is going to be going on over there. Hopefully, we can actually go and pick up ourselves a gibble which that would be really nice because uh, so far we already got ourselves uh, a, a a geodude and also a zubat i'm pretty certain i think inside that cave we can also find ourselves a gold bat in there so again we also do have the species claws so if we do come across like a graveler or maybe a uh, a gold bat for that matter uh we don't really have to go and worry about capturing those it's just going to be that we do need to go and grab ourselves whatever type of gender pokemon that we're going to be finding inside there that should be a gibble because i think that's the only pokemon that i think we're missing or maybe a sand shrew. I can't really remember exactly uh, for that. Uh, but I know that we do actually have a route uh, just before actually heading into the cave. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Ponyta was already a male Pokemon that we already just went and picked up already. So that means our route encounter is actually going to be female coming up. And then I believe the Wayward Cave encounter should actually be our female uh, Pokemon. So hopefully we can find a female uh, Gibble there. But we just have to be really lucky if we can come across it. But anyways, let's just do a little bit of a team recap and see how everybody is doing. So, of course, we do have Shadow out here at level 22, our helpful Pokemon uh, for the job that was uh, helping us out against the uh, uh, against Jupiter and her uh, Skunk Tank, of course. Does have Bite, Leer, Spark, and also Charge. We also do have Avian, of course, at level 22 with Endeavor, Double Team, Quick Attack, and also Wing Attack. We also do have Kaza as well at level 23 with Teleport, Confusion, and also Psycho Cut. We also do have Luffy at level 24 with Mach punch leer flame wheel and also power up punch we also do have halen of course at level 21 with tackle smackdown rock throw and also rock polish we also do have prince at level 15 with tail glow water gun and also charm and uh, that that is basically everybody on the team so without further ado let's just go and head on over here to the bike shop get ourselves a free bike since we just actually went and helped uh, out uh, out the guy that was already here so let's go and do that now i think also as well too once we start heading down from the bicycle path uh i believe we could also get ourselves a uh, brand new uh, bike accessory as well too oh whoa what the heck is going on here so i'd like you to choose a color of your bike which one will it be oh wow we could actually get ourselves a uh, a different type of color of bike now this is actually something that 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 you could basically go and do i think also in uh, pokemon x and y and uh, you could be able to go and change out the color of your bike i think for me i'm gonna probably grab out maybe maybe the blue bike I think the blue will be fine. Wow, that actually looks really nice. So do you want the blue bike? Of course I do. I think that actually looks not too shabby at all. So nice. We got ourselves our bike, so now we can just go and ride around it. The bike's actually not that bad, I do have to say, for, for what its design kind of looks like. On your bike, you can take it through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Yep, we already know all about that. Okay. Yep, so bike riding. All right. We already know that it is going to be in our bag. But let's go and use it and head on right down into where the bicycle path is going to be. There's going to be a lot of trainers that are going to be out and about here. And, uh, oh, here we go. So we could probably get ourselves uh, something pretty new uh, since we did go and battle out like quite a bit of other trainers. So uh, you wonder who I am. I'm Professor Rose's assistant, Dawes Father. Oh, so I, I think we actually can meet Dawes Father, I think, uh, in Sanjo Town if you wanted to go and just do some exploring. But this is the first time that we actually do get to meet him right now. So let me ask you, uh, how many Pokemon have you, have you met? Uh, you met 42 Pokemon. Pokemon, wonderful. Uh, so, Professor Road uh, should be delighted, but here's something for you. Oh, wow, a rare candy. All right, not bad. Thank you. Well, at least we got ourselves our very first rare candy, so that is going to be pretty handy uh, as well. So, I don't know uh, what I'm going to... I don't know who I'm going to give this to, to be exact, because uh, we just need to find where that rare candy is going to be at. Oh, here we go. So, it's going to be right in our uh, bags here. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this item. And who am I going to give this to? Who needs to level up here? I would probably want to say maybe give that to Halen because I think we're getting close to becoming a Graveler, right? So I'm just going to probably just give that over to him. Get him up to level 22. I don't know if that's going to be an evolution or not. I'm also learn Bulldoze. Well, that's not bad. Uh, okay, well, we got ourselves our very first ground type type of move. Not too shabby there. Uh, let's go switch around with Tackle. So nice, so now we can actually be able to go and destroy out on some electric type type of Pokemon here. So I don't know, I think I may probably want to keep Halo on the team. But if we ever do come across another ground type Pokemon, that's going to be a little bit better than, uh, than a Golem. 
then I may probably have to do a little bit of switching. Okay, well, let's go and take care of these guys because I know that we got a whole bunch of cyclists that we do need to go and take on down here in the in the cyclist path. Okay, let's see what he's got. I think normally most of these guys kind of have like Staravias and stuff like that, so it'll be perfect uh, out here for Shadow, which we don't really need to go and switch around at all, really. <laughs> But also, too, uh, right on after this, guys, you should be able to go and check out uh, that there is going to be a new uh, Skyward Sword episode coming out your guys' way. We are going to be finally now heading into that annoying dungeon that we had to go and do uh, by helping out Scrapper and bringing that water basin over to that dungeon just so that we can just be able to go and open that up. Finally, uh, after all that time, I had, uh, I had enough of those moblins, man. And if you guys haven't checked out that episode, you guys should go and watch it because... Uh, you were almost about to be seeing a, uh, a prox rage there, uh, during that episode. Normally, I don't ever do, uh, raging all that too much, but that one was pretty much rage-inducing for that one there. Uh, what? How could I not... I literally just typed A, and then for some reason, it just did not work there for a second. Uh, maybe I just didn't line up all the way up there too perfectly, but either way, let's see what else you got. Probably, you have something... Ooh, that's a little bit scary. Uh, you know what? That's actually not fine. Uh, that's actually not that bad at all. You know, it's just a shrink. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But of course, you do have intimidate, so that's gonna kind of be a, a little bit of a annoying problem there. But let's just go for a bite. Why did you not even evolve your your shrink into a Luxio? You should already be be doing that by now, because Luxio is actually a little bit better than the shrink. There we go. Nice. The shrink is already down and out. Sorry, buddy. But, no, nah, he's got ourselves up to two other levels there for Kaza and also Shadow. Okay, sweet. And, uh, okay, so I think there's also, I think maybe like a few more other different cyclists that are here. Because I think there's one, I think, just right down here. And I think there's also, uh, another cyclist, I think, that's just a little bit down uh, where those uh, two tunnels are at. And I don't think, it seems like most of these guys just only have, like, only like one Pokemon each. Which, that's not too bad at all. Oh, a Ponyta? That should be an issue. I know that uh, we had a little bit of an issue before when we had, I think it was just a Shinx the first time around. But Spark should be able to do a little bit of some damage here this time. Oh, come on, man. Really? You're gonna go set up for a Growl on me? Ugh. That's what I don't like. It's growls. Come on, man. Hey, nice. We actually got a Paralysis on the, uh, on the Ponyta there. Not bad. Go for it again, Shadow. It's all up to you. Sweet. All right, another trainer down. Okay. Now, uh, I, I know that this video seems a little bit strange because this is actually uh, a, a time where I'm actually uh, uh, doing this video much later, uh, uh, or sorry, not, not much later, but actually much earlier in the morning than usual. Uh, because uh, normally, uh, normally I, I always kind of do my videos around like, uh, I want to say like around like, say like maybe around like seven or eight o'clock and this time right now i'm actually uh doing this video somewhere around uh, i want to say like just close to around like six o'clock already <laughs> because uh, the funny thing is is that both of my two videos actually got finished uh like super early so like i actually have like enough time to like literally do uh a little bit of uh, some videos before i actually go and do a little bit of some errands uh, with my grandma because uh if you guys don't know, I, I normally help out my grandma, like, like normally, like, like once every week or so, uh, just so that I can help her out with, like, groceries and other stuff like that, and, uh, just kind of just be the nice grandson that I am. <laughs> but, at least I do have a little bit of time just before going and doing that, because normally I always kind of have to do, like, two videos, uh, like, like once every, uh, once every day. So, at least I get one video finished. And then I can just do the next one right after when I come back home. And then you guys should be able to go and check out on the live stream, which that is going to be happening here for today, actually. Uh, but I know that this video is going to be a post recording, so you guys won't be able to see this video like much later throughout the day, of course. Uh, but again, always go and check out on Twitter, guys. Uh, if you do want to go and check out on any of the live streams that go on, uh, I'll just go and uh, post out a URL link and you guys can go and... Uh, Come and hop on a board uh, throughout the Dream Team live stream. Uh, I am actually doing a brand new way of actually checking out your guys' chat without having to, for me to go and uh, basically hop in and out uh, 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 of the different uh, chat box here and there. 
Uh, so I could actually just go and just literally use my phone and I could just go and see your guys' tw uh, wow, I almost said your guys' tweets for a second, but I could go and see your guys' chat, uh, for like, for like a few seconds much faster than, than, than what I had to do, uh, from before. And I think that is a much nicer way because I think a lot of other YouTubers basically do that as well. Is where, uh, where if you do want to do a live stream for the first time, just go and use your phone because it's much uh, simpler than having to just go and just use the little pop out chat here and there. Because that pop out chat is just only literally there for you if you want to get like the URL for it, and then you could actually just go and just take that and just put it right into the uh, OBS, and you could actually just put that there and have the whole chat box if you wanted to. But I don't really need that. I am thinking about uh, actually having a. Uh, it, uh, like like having the chat box on, on one of my layouts at some point uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do that right away now how do I get out of this bike feature do I have to like hit a button oh are you serious do I have to like go into my bag or something oh well you know what I think we could actually just register our bike here right if I register it I'll put it here there we go and I think if I just hit this button I should be able to uh... oh no Hello? Uh, can I get out of my bike, please, for a second? Oh, well, that's pretty nice. I didn't know that it, that, that it could, like, spark up like that. Um, well, I guess I just have to go literally right onto my bike and then get off the bike. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Okay, well, <laughs> at least we got some, uh, got some sky stickers. Hey, normally you're supposed to give me the flag, lady. Is that just only a platinum thing? Oh, I can't really get my bike decorated. That would be cool if I got my flag. Uh, just to see how awesome that would be like uh, in the game, though. But we got some raspberries. Not bad of berries as well, too. Those are, I think, also another healing type of berry. Which, that's what I do need. I am the berry collector, after all, because I don't really like having to buy out full heals all that too much. But let's go and cut down this tree and actually get ourselves a brand new Pokemon for this route, which I am pretty excited about. Now, normally you can find Poisas here, uh, so we don't really have to go and worry about that now, but we do actually have a cut tree this way. Let's see what we got. Hey, speaking about full heals, we actually got one. We actually got one of them right now. <laughs> All right, well, let's go and head down here. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new area. I, I don't think we have ever really came down this way yet. All right, so are you going to be a female skunky? That is the question, because I wouldn't mind having a skunky. I don't know if I may probably have to do a little bit of some switching or not. Okay, so we don't really uh, have that gender typing, unfortunately. No female for that one. Oh, man, there's still more honey trees, but it's just so bad that I just don't have an APOM, man. I would love to have an APOM. Oh, Bronz uh, Bronzor. Uh, no, that would not be a bad Pokemon either. I actually had used a Bronzog uh, a long time ago. Now, uh, here we go. So, this is actually going to be uh, our very first no-gender Pokemon here. So, we are actually allowed to go and capture out this Pokemon. Uh, and uh, we can actually use uh, this Bronzor for any type of gender uh, in, uh, uh, for our choosing. So, we can put this out on the girl side, or we can actually go and put this one onto the boy side. Uh, so, that would be very nice. Kind of like Manaphy. So, uh, there we go. We got ourselves another no-gender Pokemon. And we got ourselves Bronzor. Steel Psychic. Not a bad typing there. I always like, uh, using Bronzor for, uh, kind of like uh, having him as, like, a defensive type of wall. And, like, competitive most of the time. Uh, but we are gonna name you... Hmm. I, I, I... I'm just gonna call you Zeta, I guess. Alright. And there you go. Zeta is going to get set into the PC box there. Now, normally in Renegade Platinum, uh, this would actually be a, a mandatory type of area to actually go to to actually uh, help out with one of the uh, other partners that, that you would actually want to do uh, probably like later on uh, within the game. Uh, but we don't actually do have a hiker here. All right, so let's get into it. Now, I don't know. Is this hiker going to become somewhat of a problem here? Uh, yeah, you are. You do have an Onyx. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. But, we actually do have a Ground-type move. And I'm pretty sure I think Ground-type moves can actually do some damage on an Onyx, can I? Uh, and Hail is only at level 22. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can do at least something here. Probably go for a bite. It's only at level 15, so it shouldn't be that bad. 
Uh, bite, Smackdown. Is that going to do a lot? Not that much, to be honest with you. Okay, so that's not too bad. I'm going to go for another one. Okay, right. Ooh, nice. We actually got flinched. I'm going to try out another one, see if I can get another flinch off. Just keep on doing this, and then I may probably have to switch out on Pokemon out here. Nice, another flinch. Oh my goodness, Shadow. You are actually doing really good. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever checked out uh, on the last episode, but Shadow was really kicking butt throughout that whole entire place in Jupiter's area. Like, oh my goodness. Like, we actually had uh, a paralysis on the stunk take, and it actually got two paralysis off uh, during uh, during that battle. <laughs> and Skunk Take didn't even have to worry about using, like, Night Slash or any other type of sort of, uh, or any other type of sort of, like, that uh, moves going on. Alright, so we are allowed to switch out our Pokemon here, because he actually does have a second Pokemon on the team. I'm not going to really go worry about Shadow anymore, because I would like to get this Onyx out of our way as fast as possible. Just set up for a nice good mop punch and get him out of here. Okay, let's do it. It's super effective. Oh no, it's back down. Uh, is that going to do a lot? No. Okay, we're good. Alright, one more super, uh, super effective mock punch to the face. And there you go. And you're finished, Onyx. No more match for you, Mr. Hiker. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm so close to level 24. What the heck? <laughs> I always hate that so much. Like, like, like uh, I remember when, when those EXP bars were actually a thing in Generation 2. Because I know that I'm an old school po uh, uh, Pokemon uh, gamer for, for quite a while. But I remember when those EXP bars were a thing. I remember like 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 trying to like level up uh, one of my Pokemon. I think it was probably like a I think it was like a, a, a Larvitar if I'm not mistaken. And Larvitars are actually kind of hard to basically do EXP grinding with. And I remember I was like so close to like one level that it just like uh, like, like it just literally just stopped right at like at the very end of of the little EXP bar. It's like come on man. It's like why couldn't you just like just level me up there just one more time. <laughs> I would always get so frustrated about that, but here we are. Welcome to Wayward Cave, a very dark, dank type of spot to be at. I can't really go and do anything about this, unfortunately. I don't think I have Flash with me, do I? Uh, I don't think I have Flash. I may probably have to come back to this because I don't, because I don't really want to have to go and run into a Pokemon right away. Because I really want to go and make sure that I get myself a Gibble. So I think what we'll do is come back to this area a little bit later. I'm going to find where that Flash TM is going to be. I don't think Flash should be too far away from here, but maybe probably have to do a little bit of research for it. But I would like to come back to that area before I go and actually start jumping into that place right away. Because if I want to get myself a Gibble, I want to hold off onto that, uh, that encounter for just in a little while. All right. So let's go and cut down this. And I think we do have enough time to go and speak out over to Dawn here. And I'm pretty certain we'll be able to get ourselves uh, the so-called Verse Seeker back, which that'll be very nice. Finally, the Verse Seeker actually hopefully makes a return here. I'm not really too entirely certain. Now, it doesn't matter what type of hand that you want to go and choose with. It's always going to be the, the the one that you always go for. But yeah, so here we go. We got ourselves the Versus Seeker. Yay! It's finally back. I really wish that the, the Verse Seeker was throughout like all the other different games, unfortunately. But... But well, at least we got it here in Brilliant Diamond uh, Shiny Pearl. And also got ourselves the Dowsing Machine as well, which that's always good to find. And I think we already did find one of the hidden items around here. Now, if we wanted to go and actually use the Dowsing Machine, it's actually located in our Poke Edge. I think it's just, like, not all that too far away, actually. Yeah, it's just right here. And all you have to do is just kind of walk around a little bit and i think you may probably have to hit a few I, I i don't know if you have to like literally use your screen or something to like literally tap on it kind of like what you would do uh with the normal regular um, uh pokemon diamond and pearl games but i don't think i can even do this here unfortunately with the joy con controller that i have or, or, or well, well not the joy con controller sorry the pro controller that i have no i don't think I don't think at, at any point at all, I don't think I've ever used my Joy-Con controllers at all because, uh, uh, because I, I was one of those, like, day one type of people that actually got the Nintendo Switch, uh, back when it first came out, and, uh, I actually got myself a Pro Controller, uh, during that exact same time as well, so I didn't really have to, like, go and worry about it all that, uh, 
uh all that too much but i think what i'm gonna do here guys is just go and end off this episode out here for today and uh we're gonna go and head on over to heart Hole city next and see what type of pokemon that we're gonna be running into there so don't forget to leave a comment like also subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you guys in the next episode of fort and uh yeah and i will also go and do a little bit of research to figure out where that uh flash uh, I, or what, what, what the Flash TM is going to be at. I don't know if I have it in my bag or not, but uh, if, if I uh, if I don't have that, uh, I may probably have to go and search for it and kind of figure out where that's going to be so that we can be able to get ourselves our gimbal right away. But I'll see you guys then, and peace.